Oh, hey everyone, so welcome to my video. So yes, this video is about uh, how to become the best, the best, basically the best version of yourself. How to become the best, how to improve and to become the best. So there's just a few little things. It's very, very simple. It's very easy, but each thing takes time. So here's what happened in my life from me becoming like <laughs> miserable and crap. To becoming like the best, <laughs> like the way I am now, you know, just the best. <laughs> you know what I mean, yeah. You know what I mean. Like no judgment here, but yeah, how to become like empowered, conscious, and empowered, creative. So I used to be miserable, sad, anxious, depressed, lonely, like extremely sad and lonely, and didn't want to live anymore. I used to be bedridden sometimes. I used to be crippled, disabled, blah blah blah. I used to be all of these things, wiped out, exhausted, adrenally fatigued, very sad and losing everything in my life and I used to be full of like anxious thoughts about the future and I used to be hopeless. Poor old me, but that was back in the day before I woke up and then become, became more conscious and empowered and creative and now uh, I've created like over 900 videos on YouTube and I just live an inspired life and I'm grateful for today and every day. It doesn't matter what's happening, rarely think anything gets me down for more than yeah, a few hours I suppose this year, yeah, I got a bit down, but that was, generally that's once, twice, three times a year maybe, and other than that I'm never down for more than just a few minutes, if at all. Today I haven't been down, <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> okay, number one, to become awesome you have to realize you're not your thoughts and to wake up from the big illusion big dream world the washing machine of constant thinking thinking all negative stuff so master your thoughts is number one so you learn to become a selective sifter and a chooser a creator conscientious about which thoughts you're going to pick out and say universe i want this thought like an affirmation like a life of affirmations almost or at least positive thinking truthful real thinking because most negative thinking is absolutely non-truthful and illusionary like there's no hope for me in the future I'm gonna be single and lonely forever and I used to kind of probably think stuff like this for definite and I was obviously so sad and suffering so get real get positive positive thinking isn't like airy fairy ungrounded stuff is real it's like getting with the truth the truth shall set you free so the truth is you are awesome the truth is we're all loving beings at heart the truth is we're all deeply connected the truth is we all we nearly all just want to be loved cared for and respected the truth is when you generally give stuff you'll generally get it back the truth is it's okay to cry and feel pain and the truth is it's okay to be gay, whatever the case may be, white, black, brown, multicolored. <laughs> so the truth shall set you free. So that's number one, master your thoughts. So like I said, live a life of affirmations more like it, more along those lines. These days in my life I've practiced this for a while and meditation can help. I used to live a life of meditation for three and a half years where I just lived like mindful sort of meditation all the time where I was aware of my looking at my thoughts and observing my thoughts and my images and pictures going on in my head all the time so you know you're looking at the grass yeah you know you're looking at the thought going on in your head like the sentences forming the words forming a sentence and you're just looking at it and thinking hmm, where did that come from that's sort of like a habit thought that just brings me misery I'm gonna discontinue practicing that thought and then the next time the next time I'm gonna notice it and I'm gonna like cut it half sentence and I'm gonna pick a different selection of words in my brain in my head so that's number one master your thoughts number two become a become a, uh, become a conscious positive critic of yourself look at all your bad points and your bad traits and habits and just dysfunctional, disharmonious, like fearful or programmed or limited behavior and habits and thinking, etc. So for me, this is one of my first things that I did in my conscious journey, maybe between the age of 20 and 25, or 18 and 25 maybe. I started looking at like my obvious like bad points and I started like to get rid of my more obvious bad points. And I remember every day, every year, I'd say, "Whoa, I've, I've like I've improved in this, 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 and this, and and gotten rid of like these things, etc." 
I'm like, I'm pretty happy I made a lot of like growth this year. <laughs> and then next year I was like, whoa, this is pretty good too, I made these points. And then, then at the age of 25, I woke up from a lot, still in a lot of suffering and I realized I'm not my washing machine negative brain habits. I'm not my thoughts and I'm actually like, I'm a living force of awareness being. Uh, I, I like I had, an, I sometimes say I had an inner body experience. So instead of being outer body, I still like realize, hey, look, I'm observing my body. I'm formless consciousness. I'm awareness, pure awareness, right here, right now, always, beyond my thoughts, beyond my body, beyond what I'm observing and looking at and seeing around the place, etc., etc., etc. So that was a huge, huge, big one. And then I, I got rid of the whole like washing machine of jumbled up, confused, distorted, dreary, drab, dismal, depressing, dank, desolate, and dull. Beginning with D, did you notice that? Thoughts. So yeah, I became happy. I became what I called a deep peace in my life, an unfathomable, never felt before peace. And that was really the absence of a lot of suffering, like 95% or more of my suffering, 98, 99% of my suffering vanished in the space of a week or two or three. <laughs> well, that was life changing. I was like, that's what I call if you want my awakening or whatever you want to call it, my, my diving into the ocean of normality. Because <laughs> it's not like it's common to like suffer like and think like a lunatic, programmed, brainwashed, conditioned madman and suffering like crazy then. But just because it's common doesn't mean it's like our normal natural way. So our normal natural way, or at least our infinite higher being way is peace, love, joy, as the near-death experiences and outer body travelers uh, will tell you. <laughs> so that's, that's number one, mastering your thoughts. Number two, Waking up to realize you actually are not your thoughts and to also, I suppose that's part of number two, to iron out your bad points. Look at yourself in honest appraisal and uh, critique yourself and get better. When you make mistakes, own up to it, say sorry to people, tell them you're trying and you'll try not to be bad or mean again, you know. God damn it, man. I love this fucking yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So beautiful. Ah, uh, I just. This is why I love life. You know, if you weren't alive, you couldn't experience this moment. Couldn't experience this moment if you weren't alive. So beautiful. So let's keep walking. I'll go down this way. My heart says this way. So. So I'm um, yeah to change your life. The other part you have to do to to grow up spiritually and become. A beautiful conscious being creator and to align yourself with who you really are the deepest levels god source energy light frequencies lightness light love and laughter is to heal yourself that's a huge one that i've been doing for the last well it's kind of like since you're in around the age of 25 and i'm 32 now for the last seven years i've been pretty I've, i'm a pretty intense guy i move quick metabolize quick burn my food quick gain weight slowly <laughs> lose weight quick I'm a Vata, strong, 95% Vata in Ayurvedic. So you want to heal yourself. So I went to Reiki, I went to quantum healing, I went to... I went to spiritual healing two or three times, I went to Reiki you know, three or four, time, four times probably, I went to quantum healing twice. Uh, what else did I do? Uh, I went to... I also got other healing for psychic medium uh, two times so far, maybe again soon. And I also got another healing over as well over the internet. Um, all those other people were in person. So, so you can go to healers, uh, and another way is to heal yourself. And how do you heal yourself? You let out the pain within you, and that's expressing your feelings consciously instead of mindlessly and destructively. So you express your pain. You express the sadness and the anger. Crying works for most people, especially women. Men might express anger. And if you're going to express anger in a way that isn't crying, 
I recommend do not take it out on furniture or punching the walls or on other people especially. I recommend doing vigorous exercise like push-ups or like press-ups etc or even or just simply punch a pillow on your bed or something and just don't hurt yourself because I've done that a few times you hurt hurt your hand or you hurt something from being rough that's not the best way to express anger yeah it's, it's really better to do it by press ups or something something that you find safe and it works and crying is the best really crying is a universal harmless brilliant way of letting out the pain but remember don't create more pain and more miserableness by thinking miserable thoughts or painful thoughts like you know but do let out the pain that's already there and um, without those miserable depressive thoughts because they, they're just generating new pain you don't want to generate new pain you want to let out the old pain so allow yourself to feel become a feeling person feel your body become aware of your body how your body feels when eat, eating food or drink how your body feels around people in certain places and another one so I'll just cover this quickly um, how to how to heal yourself a technique is to in order to heal it you need to feel it so I recommend looking this is a healing technique to look over and remember the past hurtful experiences you've been in I'm sure there's many back then you probably didn't process or express or feel it uh, properly fully so feel the pain from that moment and say what you wanted to say in that moment do it on your own in your room or something like leave me alone or get away you mother asshole like ah, let out the anger and the pain the venom and the hurt and do say what you wish you could have been able to say then or at least simply feel what you need to feel you need to feel it to release it so that's what I did so maybe you can cry for what happened to you 15 20 30 years ago or more or last week and you'll feel refreshed it's like getting a shower you feel refreshed and lighter So moving on, this is so important, so you've got a lot of work to do, this could last like weeks, months, years even, you can remember stuff you've forgotten, but it'll, you'll, your life will change, you will transform, and that's what happened to me. But look through the eyes of love, understand, and have compassion on people who hurt you, and the way, take responsibility and accountability for your participation, and often souls, spirits that we are, we serve each other by being bad or good to each other and it helps transform us and bring us to the next level of our higher set the higher next level positive level of ourselves and our journey so don't condemn anyone at the deepest heart levels the deepest levels maybe surface somebody somebody's been bad or you know speaking childishly somebody being bad bold hurtful etc so that i'll just go on make, let's make another point because why not i like making this video so hope it's helping. Another point would be to honour yourself and your truth. Stop sacrificing and betraying yourself by doing things, going places and spending time with people who and studying subjects or college or university or working in places that you just don't like or don't resonate or leave. Be more selective with your company, your environment. And I don't mean cruelly leave people or abandon them or like tell them to go to hell or anything I don't mean that <sighs> I mean lovingly give yourself more love in your life in the form of your own thoughts and positive affirmations and kindness and truthful truthful thinking food that serves you more and people and places and job that serve you more Become the conscious creator of your life, the co-creator. Don't give up blaming, complaining. See where what you've done to participate and influence the situations and the people. And be quick to say sorry and let go and release the tension by saying sorry and owning up to your part of it. And then you can move on and be happy, guys. Like Being happy isn't necessarily just about doing stuff like dancing or jumping on the spot or hopping on your head or going for a run it's more got to do with inner transformation of your heart especially 
and then the mastering your thoughts part. They're the most important, but everything, there's everything, life is a big thing, you know, it's kind of, kind of complicated, kind of simple in a way also. Simple once you know strategies and what works and what doesn't work. And I've made a million mistakes, so the best, the most successful people generally make the most mistakes and learn from them, whereas the master makes many mistakes, but the beginner, the master has made more mistakes than the beginner has even tried to do things. <laughs> so, go easy on yourself and always have a positive framework in which to give meaning to any situation. And go out there and be kind, be loving, be fun, be lighthearted and laughter and hug. So I'll do some I'll talk about some outer things now and go for a walk in nature and run and swim. Any of these things that you like. Some some people won't like lots of them. We're all, we're all different, remember? You could like play music maybe or go swimming or go in the ocean or go in the swimming pool or go to the gym or you might like to not go to the gym and go outdoors in nature instead and do your exercise there or do it in your living room on a dance video. Sally likes doing dancing and or workouts. And I like to do outdoor stuff like pulling up on the tree or press ups and But Sally likes outdoor stuff as well of course. And make up and get resolve your past with your parents. So it's all about healing and mastering your thoughts and then learning to love yourself in real life and learning the boundaries and saying no and from a place of love and not about cruel rejection of people. Living from your heart is the is the way guys. It's the way it's the way because it's who you are so if you don't live from your heart it's like you're a fish but you're trying to live on the land you're going to be dried up and unhappy unhealthy so are, we are like are we like the fish so to speak but so we live in the water which is your heart where we are supposed to be where we belong what we are heart beings we will be happy guys so always remember align back to your heart the more you go away from your heart, the sadder and more suffering you'll be. The more you'll be thinking thoughts of, fuck them, like they're assholes, I hate them. Hope they suffer for doing this. They hurt you, those thoughts, because they're far from your heart. It's like you've gone far from the oceans of your heart. And you come back to the heart, you'll be thinking thoughts like, I, I now I recognise and I'm very sad for their suffering. And I realise they're in a lot of pain. These thoughts are aligned with your heart. And bring tears to your eyes. And you'll change, and you'll change the situation as you change. And this is true empowered heart living. For me, I don't give a shit about money in many ways. The heart totally predominates money or any materialistic things, but they're all important to me too and they're part of life. But they're used from the place of my heart and from alignment with my higher spirit and heart. I don't chase money or strive for money or desperately cling on to money. I use money and things as a means of expressing my heart, creating from my heart, earning from my heart and sharing and being generous from my heart with these things. I'm not attached to all this stuff because when we die we don't bring our wardrobe and our piano but we bring our memories and we bring our heart. That's very meaningful. Uh, so it feels so good to say this because it's so true guys so true and it rings the deepest in me out of any part of this video because all the other stuff, a lot of it's information but I feel like almost like I could cry you know because it's so true and we, we've all been through so much and I've been through a lot of pain in my life my life's been full of pain actually really and I think I chose this to overcome it and to lead this life for myself whilst also sharing how to navigate and overcome and go through for other people on their journey. Yeah. So I've had a lot of healing to do and I still have some healing obviously I have probably a bit of I don't know how much healing I have left but I don't know I've come pretty far at this stage but few little things probably to come, maybe, I don't know. So we'll just end the video now by enjoying the clouds. And I just wanted to say also thank you 
for all of your love and support.